Cali Gardens is a large walled garden originally built in the late 18th century as a walled kitchen garden for Cali House. Over a hectare in size and enclosed by brick walls up to 15 feet in height, they were originally subdivided by two heated internal walls running east-west across the garden, which are now gone. Of the original buildings, the gardener's cottage and a large lean-to vinery remain, backing onto potting sheds, fruit store, mushroom house and boiler house. An early Ormond survey map shows a layout of the gardens just before the long deterioration that began with the Great War, and you can see the internal walls and the number of glass houses. After the Great War, social and economic changes caused many country estates around the UK to go into decline, Cali among them. The gardens were sold to the Forest Commission in 1939 and were sold on again to become a market garden before being sold to Michael Wickenden, who created the garden we see today. However, the historic vinery is now in a poor state of repair. Current owner of Cali Gardens, Kevin Hughes, takes up the store. We are hoping to develop this garden as a resource for education uh, into ecological um, wildlife friendly gardening and one of the projects we have to um, undertake as part of that is the restoration of the 18th century vinery we have um, inherited as part of the garden. Um, it's rather run down now uh, in that it's in need of serious repair and as you can see from behind me it's um, a rather beautiful building and we hope in the future to use this for not just growing plants but to use it as an exhibition centre and as part of an ongoing series of conferences we hope to run here um, talking about um, urban regeneration of, of plants, um, you know, re-greening re the urban space and, and how to make gardens all over the country um, better for wildlife in general and indeed for ourselves emotionally and this binary will one day with appropriate um, restoration and um, hopefully appropriate funding become part of this project. As you can see the building is in um, a serious state of disrepair. Uh, it's been degenerating for a number of years now. The original vinery was built with pitch pine which is an endangered species and so we certainly won't be using that to restore it but what's interesting is the piece you're looking at is only about 30 years old and was restored using some kind of timber that was obviously substandard and has rotted and collapsed much faster than the original 18th century material just beyond it. Uh, we, we, when we do restore this it is a line in the sand here for me and we will not use timber from either tropical forests or any hardwood material from um, over harvested resources so this will be restored in an ethical way or not at all that's a red line in the sand for me Well, once you're inside the binary, it is in a marvellous space. The light is lovely in here. It's an extraordinarily beautiful building. Uh, it's got wonderful um, uh, cantilever vents. It, it, everything about it is fabulous. And it grows plants superbly, as you can see from the jungle that surrounds me. And uh, I'm so looking forward to actually turning this into something more. It'd be grand to get the public in here uh, and share this space with them with ex exhibitions, as I say, display plants and an interactive um, uh, opportunities that this building will offer, offer in the future uh, when it's made a wee bit uh, more secure and safe. Uh, the future of this building could be quite, quite exciting really.